All right, thank you, Dave. Now on to your voice, your vote. Today is Michigan's primary election. In less than three hours, polls will open, and this year's election will look and feel different. 13 on your side's Angela Cunningham is live in Grand Rapids with what changes you can expect. Good morning, Angela. Good morning. Well, for starters, Michigan is seeing a dramatic increase in the number of absentee voting, so much so predicted numbers suggest that absentee voting could be more than double the norm for this August primary. Now, we spoke with Kent County Clerk Lisa Posthumous Lyons to get an idea of what impact that would have on tallying election results, and she says, she is confident there won't be any, quote, delays or problems. However, voters should not expect to have complete results by tonight. That's because of the sheer number of absentee ballots they're getting in and the amount of time it will require to count those votes. In the past, we've had uh, our election results um, all reported you know, in the wee hours of Wednesday morning, if not on election night. Uh, we will have all of our precinct uh, results for those who cast their ballots in the polling locations on election day. We'll have those you know, early, on, uh, early on Tuesday evening, but it will take us a, a long time to, um, to tabulate and report the um, absentee ballots. I don't anticipate it election night. I expect it to be well into Wednesday. You know, whether that's uh, afternoon or evening remains to be seen. Election workers will begin counting those absentee ballots at 7 o'clock this morning when the polls open. Voters have until 8 o'clock tonight when the polls close to get them in. If you are planning to vote absentee and have not yet mailed your ballot in, you will want to drop it off at your local clerk's office today. Again, they must be received by 8 o'clock tonight. And if you are heading out to vote, you should know that masks like these are required, but they are not, or they are suggested, but they are not required. To be clear, no eligible voter will be turned away because they are not wearing a mask or a face covering. And coming up in the next half hour, we will have much more on what you should expect as you head out to the polls today. Back to you.